In less than 10 minutes, I'll show you how to make your photos so good, sharp, and professional for your LinkedIn or any other social media platform. Let's get into it. Hi, everyone, and welcome to SME Talk. So recently, I've changed my uh, profile picture on LinkedIn and also on my work or 365 profile and everyone was so complimentary of it and wanted to see if I if that was actually in a studio everyone thought it was in a studio actually it was in, in in my bedroom and I'll show you how I've done this with Photoshop today please before we get into the video make sure you do all the good stuff uh, to support us on the channel and feed the gods of the algorithm with your likes, subscribe, and enabling the bell. So, let's jump into Photoshop and see where I started. Here we are. So, you see this is the original photo that I worked with. Uh, here we go. And... I transformed it into this using Photoshop. <laughs> From what you can see, even the lighting is not the very best. I could have done a better job with that. The very first thing, you need to work with the object selection tool, which is relatively a new tool in Photoshop. I think it was in the release before the last. It was real pain to do this kind of selection back in the day. In my case, I don't have much hair, so it's easier. But if you are doing it with someone with hair, it will be much harder. But with this tool, life is much easier. You see what I'm doing now? I'm clicking Alt and doing my selection. And what that's doing, it's subtracting this area from my main selection because I don't want that to be as part of the photo. So simply, you choose any selection tool from the menu, click Alt, and select the area. You could keep the same object selection tool and click Alt and that will automatically deselect uh, the area that you're working with. And you could see here what I'm doing. I'm zooming in to see any imperfections with my selection because that's really important. And pressing Shift and the selection uh, tool, what that will allow me to do is to add additional area into my selection you see a little bit around my beard is not being selected um selecting it now with the shift and the selection tool that i chose i chose the lasso tool which i think is the very first selection tool in photoshop again i'm doing you know some cleaning up and that's what you need to do really because your selection is everything if your selection is no good you can't really use that photo for anything. It, it will look really bad. Unless you want to have, you know, like uh, them uh, punk, uh, crypto punk style <laughs> photos with your image. Maybe you could do that. It will be really pixelated and not good. So this is the last bit. I'm, I'm, I'm um, getting rid of the uh, chair that I have behind me. Uh, I'm using Alt again, deselecting it. And it's it, you could see from the lines, it's really sharp. Before, before to get such selections really sharp and clean, uh, we used to work with the pen tool uh, to allow you to have these nice curves and, and sharp uh, edges. But now with the um, new tools that uh, Photoshop gives you, you really don't need uh, to work with the pen tool. You can if, if you wanted to, but I'm showing this for people who don't really know Photoshop, and I'm not a designer or photographer by any means, I work in technology, but I just teach myself uh, these things. So what I've done now, I'm refining my selection, and we need to smooth it up a little. Uh, don't over push the feather, so give it about 2.2 smooth, 2.2 feather, and what that will do, it will smooth the selection. Now we go into the mask area, we mask in what we worked with, and you see, it's it's really clean. You don't really need to do any more uh, cleaning with it. But you can. So what, what you can do, if you wanted to work more on your selections, you can click on the mask, like I've done here, and using the brush, make sure your brush doesn't have any... Uh, you know, softness, it needs to be hard 100% if you want it to work uh, on the body itself to clean things up. 
And here we go. You see, it doesn't have any edges. And you see here that I'm just showing you what the mask does. It basically, it just hides the pixels. It's non-destructive, so we're not deleting anything. So if you wanted to bring it back, you can disable the mask or you can use the brush uh, with the opposite color. Uh, to So white shows you the... Uh, body and black height basically so now we need to start with the background and what I've done in the original image um, I worked with the gradient uh, radial gradient so you have like that kind of lighten uh, behind uh, the image so you see here I, I chose the uh, this style and now this will take you quite a bit of uh, experiments to see what you're trying to achieve obviously we need to switch them because i need the darker to be the dominant color in the background and the white to represent the lighting so you see here i'll try i group them so i could show you the difference between the two uh, i haven't applied any light into the image itself but what i'm doing is working with the gradient uh, to choose something that would work for me. I'll show you a nice little uh, a trick here. So you see, you, you have to experiment here uh, until you reach some, so you see like here, the halo, the angel. This is a quite, you know, quite uh, acceptable. Uh, I think you could work with that. But what I'll do, I'll show you something else because you don't want really harsh lighten at the back you don't want the Y to be uh, too uh, dominant so what we can do we can actually from the so what I, I just to clean things up and I, what, I, what I want to show you now is that we can change the uh, shades of the gradient so I'm pushing the grays more so when I do the gradient I have less whites and more grays in the background and you will see that you see now when I'm trying to do the full gradient with the effect I'm getting less and less white so you see here it's almost pretty much gray this one is quite good uh, I could have kept it uh, this one is quite nice as well you could uh, stick with that it's really it's a matter of taste and what you what you like to work with so pretty much I'll stick to this gradient it's quite nice it looks natural it looks good and now I'm working on the image directly, the image itself. Uh, levels allows you to, to work with your lighting. So, so enhance the light areas or the darker ones. And basically, you could see it changes it live for you. Um, and this is quite good. And what, what I've done, I pressed Alt between the two layers. So it is masked only to my image and it doesn't affect the background. So I'm working with the vibrance. The vibrance, it, it gives that extra push in red to everything in the image. And the saturation increases the reds exclusively. Um, and you need to be careful with the saturation because if you push it too much, the image will be, you know, a bit orangey. Orangey, yeah, I like that. Orangey. <laughs> well, you know, you will end up looking like someone that would not go into mention. Uh, so what I'm doing now, I'm trying to fix the harsh lighting in this part of my face uh, here on the right. So I've increased the darkness across the image. And now I'll hide the bits that I don't want in the mask uh, for that lighting. And I'll keep the dark area only in the overexposed part of the image. And as you can see here, this is much better because otherwise my lighting was really bad when I took the photo. And it's really important for you to get your writing, lighting right when you take uh, your image. But again, this is in my bedroom. No fancy photographers, you know, nothing is just even bad lighting. And you could work with the opacity from here uh, to, to dim that effect even further if you wanted. And you could see pretty much we are there, really. Um, I worked in the uh, image, the lighting, the vibrance of it. Uh, worked on the background with the gradient. You could even push it further. That that shows you how bad of a job I've done with the lighting. You see, it's quite harsh around the glasses. I should have put it in a position where it doesn't show on my glasses. 
But if you're really picky and you wanted to work on this and improve it even further, you could, you know, I just created a layer with the color picker. I picked uh, a color that matches my skin tone, uh, like you can see here. And I started painting, painting on top uh, of the lighting that I have. Um, you could spend, you know, if you spend like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe even less, on this to get it to look really natural you can you know you could take source and start painting on top of the glasses but really yeah, who has time for that let's be honest guys especially it's just a profile picture for linkedin or you know facebook or whatever you see that i've, I've painted this i'm taking the opacity down and voila yeah you see it's it's improved it's not as harsh as where i started and you see, it's pretty much the same result of my actual photo, the one uh, that I used uh, on my LinkedIn. So let me show you the difference between where we started and where we are now. So pretty much I'm just duplicating the uh, layer of the photo. Let's just take it slightly further. And here we are. So you could see I can disable the mask like I explained earlier and it takes out the selection we made and look at this. So this is where we started, this is where we ended up. However, um, I've done it myself with Photoshop, it looks really good. Uh, I got good compliments on it and you could do it yourself and I believe you can get a free trial of Photoshop as well. Uh, to try this yourself. I hope you found this useful. I'm not a designer. But I do quick and dirty stuff with Photoshop that get the job done. If you would like me to do more videos on how to use Photoshop, maybe do lower thirds, uh, get your CV to look good, um, do graphic elements that allow you to push maybe your website to the next level, I'm happy to help you with that. Write that in the comment and let me know what you thought of this video. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.